Hello everyone and welcome to Little Miss Fortune, a 2D side-scrolling story about a rather unfortunate and unlucky eight-year-old girl who, with her friend Mr. Voice, goes on an adventure. This is brought to us by Kill Monday Games, who, back in the day, brought us Franbo, and that's a game I thoroughly enjoyed, and it's a game I played on the channel, so check down below in the description if you want to have a look at that. I don't know if this is going to be a sequel to Franbo, or in the same universe, but I imagine there might be references to the, uh, to the other game. It's been out for a while now, I've heard nothing but good things, and a load of people have wanted me to play this, so let's find out why. Hope you enjoy it, let's begin a new game of Little Misfortune. <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. There's the first reference straight away. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm thinking of control already. It doesn't sound like the old gods, though. <laughs> All right. That little guy down there. I'm just now remembering how good Franbo was. Wow. He doesn't look too phased by it. What the fuck? And off he goes into another world? <laughs> Okay. I'm already liking how this game looks. I think a lot of this is going to be hand-drawn artwork, just like Franbo was. Yeah, look at that. Be aware. Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end, and you'll be rewarded. Okay. With what? The end of the game? Of course, yeah. Unlike Franbo, this is all going to be voiced, I think. This is Miss Fortune. Right. She's a wonderful child from a not-so-wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> Ah, oh, the sad part is, today is the day she will die. <laughs> huh. I can hear you, you know. Really? Oh, you can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm. Well, okay, yes. <laughs> All right, I'll call you... Mr. Voice. Oh, I see. Oh, what did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. <laughs> nothing of the sort. <laughs> Nobody said nothing? You know, I have prepared a game. <laughs> Trying to distract for you. her now. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. That's my Do reward? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. <laughs> okay, it's a deal. Right. Have you got Wonderful. pills too? Fantastic. <laughs> Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Right. Hold on though. Eternal happiness? I mean, it sounds like Mr. Voice is trying to get me killed here. Anyway, okay, I'm opting to use a keyboard and mouse with this, rather than a controller, but, uh, yeah, you do have that option. What's this? Look, I made these paper dolls myself. This is Kimberly, and this is Steven. Oh, yeah? They're on a trip fighting super evils. <laughs> Alright, well, let's leave them to it, I suppose. We've got a, uh, radio over here, I guess. I like to move my body. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's the music that goes on forever. Okay, oh. <laughs> Checking out our moves. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. Anything else? Oh, hang on. What's that? Benjamin? 
Benjamin the fox? Look, I drew this picture. It's the fox I see outside my window sometimes. Oh. I call him Benjamin. He's a really cute fox. Ugh. I don't care much for foxes. Right. Okay. Uh... Oh, it's actually just X to close, I see. Fair enough. So he just comes by to visit, does he? What's this? We going under the bed? Oh! Look, this is my secret hiding spot. Oh, impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when Mommy and Daddy argue too much. Hmm. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> I think this game is going to be sort of adorably dark, you know? <laughs> uh, let's go to the left. This is Babsy, oh. the guardian of the secret spot. What happened to his eye? You see his eye? Yeah. He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. Hmm. Who was the monster? Mum or Dad? What's this? This is my diary. Nobody is allowed to read it. Want to see? Uh, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> that lasted long, didn't it? <laughs> Did you draw all this? Uh-huh. Not bad. Okay, so I like to play a lot with my toys. I like to talk to them because it's fun. Uh, hello, diary. At school I drew, and at home I was at my hiding spot talking to Bubsy, and I heard it. I saw a fox walking outside my room. He's called Benjamin, I think. <laughs> Benjamin. Ugh, that fox. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Voice and the Fox just don't get on, it seems. Uh, my dad lied to me again. Not going out to the park today. I made myself pretty, but he doesn't care. I feel sad. I cried, but told mummy I'm okay. I'm afraid if I tell her I'm sad, she'll be angry. Sometimes, I don't know how to feel. Nobody's teaching me how to feel. I wish in school they'd teach us where feelings come from. But for reals. No fairy tales. Oh, yikes forever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hello, diary. Is it okay to have feelings for a fox? Oh, you really do love Benjamin, don't you? A puke of love. That's what it is. Sure. Benjamin the fox came to visit when I was playing outside, and we looked at each other and my heart felt warm, and like if I was about to vomit, but in a good way. <laughs> yeah, I kind of get that. Uh, and then he ran away because my mummy shouted that dinner was ready. I don't like it when daddy hits mummy. No, my daddy hit mummy. Is that supposed to be normal? Should I hit people I love? It doesn't feel right. Maybe daddy can't see he's hurting me too when he hits mummy. I promise I will never be like my daddy. I played today that I took a plane to Japan and saw interesting things. I know about Japan because my friend's Japanese. He likes sushi. My friend... <laughs> okay. My Japanese friend speaks Japanese. That's very problematic when we want to talk. It's hard to understand each other. It's confusing. But I like him. He has a pair of sweet boots and a cowboy hat. <laughs> His name's Hiro. And he's a ghost. He's a ghost, not an alien? Okay. Uh, I drew him a picture, but I never gave it to him. That's Hiro, my Japanese friend. He's a ghost. <laughs> if you say so. Uh, right. Glitter. I love my glitter. So it seems. Look, I have glitter from school. It's super shiny and we use it to make Christmas cards. I think Christmas cards are pretty, but I don't believe Santa's for reals. If a man could give everyone a gift, why can't he give poor people water and food? I saw a TV show with people from other countries having nothing to eat. Anyway, I don't believe Santa's real. But the glitter's amazing. It makes me think that all that makes me sad and angry can be sprinkled with sparkle to look prettier. That makes me a little less sad. Uh, hello diary. I went picking tomatoes with my grandma. It smelled so nice. I saw butterflies, some other insects too. I ate two tomatoes and then I was stuffed. I made a real nice drawing there, you see? Yes, very nice. I did a coloring too. Impressive. Yeah, keeping it within the lines as well, for the most part. Uh, right, I was riding my tricycle. We don't have money for the bicycle. And I looked straight in the sun. And I started crying because it hurt my eyes. My mummy said that one should not look directly at it. Okay, it was fun today because I was at the lake and I saw birds flying and also fish in the water. I felt like warm water came near my bottom. <laughs> I beat in the lake. <laughs> it was really warm. That'll be why then. Uh, how are you? I'm good too. I have to do homework, but I can't stop thinking about Benjamin. Look at that picture. I was such a baby. Very cute. Now I'm such a lady. I'm a little lady. That's what I am. 
That's exactly what you are. I found a picture of me when I was younger. Time goes fast. The cake looks yummy. Alright, a little lady fox. I think that's the last page as well. Okay. Okay, well we've got a little bit of backstory there. A little bit of insight as to her life. There's something else though. I love my coloring book. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, do I take it with me or leave it for Bubsy? Hmm. Uh, I guess I'm going to take it with me. Oh, you have to hold it down, it seems. I'm going to take it with me if I get bored, okay? Okay. Sounds good to me. Poor Bubsy, though. No book to colour in anymore. I think that's it, so, right, let's find something else to interact with. I suppose, really, we should be trying to get out. Looks like it's not climbing through the window. Oh, hang on. <laughs> My glitter. Right, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is everything better now? I guess so. What's this? I saw a monster in here once. I showed it the finger and it never came back. <laughs> sure, sure. Alright, yep, I think that's it, so let's leave. Before you leave, which toy do you choose to bring with you? Ooh. Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, I choose... A unicorn or a stone? <laughs> oh, the two to the left? Uh, okay. The stone has a face. Is there a blood stain on that stone? Let's take the unicorn, right? Part of me wants to take the stone, but unicorn. I choose my soft and beautiful unicorn. Perfect. You can never go wrong with a magical unicorn. <laughs> you just watch me. I know, right? <laughs> Oh, look at that. That cheesy grin. That's great. Ah, and so you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. Right. <laughs> Shadow! <laughs> Happiness to everything! And off she goes. Hey, you. On the other side of the screen. Remember I told you she was going to die today? Mm -hmm. Let's keep that a secret between us, alright? Oh, and there's Benjamin the Fox as well at the window. Right, yeah, as you say, Mr. Voice. Look at these family pictures. This is Grandma. She wears a diaper too. <laughs> you still wear a diaper? Nah, that was so last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was such a seven-year-old thing. What's this? Mommy likes to collect glasses. Oh, yeah? I broke a couple ones by running too fast. Did Mommy find out who did it? No, but I had a piece of glass in my foot for like five days. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I... I... You, you just tricked oh, please me. Please don't fall, don't fall. It's gonna fall though, right? Yeah. Damn it, it's all broken now. I'm quite unlucky. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry. You can trust me. Okay, can I, though? thank you. I don't know if I can. Oh, hang on. Hmm, maybe I could try to fix it. Maybe. Um, yeah. Let's try, at least. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, okay. So now I'm in control of the hand. I see. Okay. So... Right. It's gonna go over to here. Yeah, yeah, that looks about right. All right, let's do the uh, the pattern at the bottom first, I suppose, if we can. I guess that's gonna be about there, and that's gonna go roughly there. That's right. That's gonna be there-ish, right? Okay. Um, I think we're actually missing a few pieces because <laughs> it looks like there's still a hole on the other side that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix. How am I doing this, by the way? Am I gluing this together, or...? I... Hmm. Okay, well... Looks like maybe we just grab this and put it in? Right! I did it! 
You did, yeah. Just don't look at it the wrong way, otherwise it's gonna collapse in on itself. Okay. Hey, is that me? Look, that's me. Mommy told me I have to smile, even when I'm sad. I take it that you're sad quite a lot. My daddy's friend was a hunter and killed this moose. His daughter, Erica, she thought his gun was a toy. She said bang bang to her mommy and daddy. Then her parents died, and she was so sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just play it off with a little giggle at the end. Yeah, okay. This way? <laughs> I think I'm gonna need more glitter. Right. Ugh, it smells like cigarettes in here. Yeah, that's my mommy. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> juice? Well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. Hmm, internal happiness. Don't, don't get it too quickly. Oh, uh, well, let's check the fridge. Oh, oh. dead rabbits again? Again? When will Daddy learn I like them alive? <laughs> oh, it's an easy mistake to make. Oh, hang on. Ah. Oh, right. I mean, that did nothing, right? They're just dead rabbits with glitter, but... Okay, I... Was that to heal my heart? In an HP kind of way? I'm not sure. Oh, no. Mommy, this smells really bad. What is it? Dead animals. That's what it is. Yikes forever. Yeah, yikes forever. Alright. Oh, something on the table. We had a lovely dinner last night. Really? Mommy wasn't that drunk, and Daddy actually said hi to me. Damn, this is quite depressing, actually. Uh, hi, Mom. When I grow up, I want to be just like my mommy, a juice drinker. <laughs> right, yeah. October the 11th, is that today? It might be today. That's today! Apparently it's today. Okay. I don't know if she cares or not, but I'm still going to try and, and tell her. Yeah. I'm going out to play, Mommy! I did the right thing. Yeah. Good day, morning. It's afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Good afternoon, morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is quite fun, actually. Alrighty then. Uh, so, let's see. I haven't yet actually been able to go up and down. I assume it is just left and right for the majority of the game. And because of that, I can't get around this tree. So let's see what we got to the right here. Remember Benjamin the Fox? Mm -hmm. This is where I first saw him. Right. He was hiding in the trash and we made eye contact. It was really intense. <laughs> yes, you told me about that fox already. You shouldn't trust a fox. They're all criminals. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> what a fantastic idea. Well, they, they have been known to be quite cunning, I suppose. Alright, we've got a pool. This pool smells like a toilet. <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> you got to stop doing that. That is disgusting. Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. Oh. That was disgusting. <laughs> When was the last time the water was changed in that pool? You know what? Forget it. I don't want to go in. What's this? This is where Daddy often sleeps. Oh, right. Lucky him. Daddy? He's not in there? Right. Uh, just like the dead rabbits, I think maybe the glitter can be used here? Oh, right, yeah. Can I have a look at that now? Or? This is where Daddy often sleeps. Oh, okay. I was just wondering if I was going to get something different. Daddy? Yeah, he's still not in there. It doesn't matter how much glitter you throw all over the place. Bloody glitter. It gets everywhere as well. Hello, kitty. Here. Come. Come, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Kitty! <laughs> kitty, don't go! Oh, no. No, no, no. He's okay! Damn it. I never get to pet the sweet animals. Right. I suppose I've got to follow suit, haven't I? 
Uh, okay, Green Cross Code. So, before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. All right. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, choices? <laughs> there is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this road. All right, I can do that. Probably. Look to the left, look to the right. <sighs> Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. Mm, might want to look up and down in this case, but yeah, okay. Right, let's get a sprint on. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh! I saw a monster! What monster? I didn't see anything. It was there. I saw it. Can it's we have this conversation just elsewhere? Your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. Just don't stand right. there. <laughs> go, 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 go. Right, I made it. And, uh, there's a dead crow. Look, a sleepy bird. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go now. Maybe my glitter can wake it up. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it affects my heart. I... I don't know, maybe I should be facing reality and not putting glitter on things. I think I'm going to enjoy this one, actually. Huh. I used a little sparkle back there. You did. Anyway, where are we? Good question. Let's go find out, I suppose. Look, uh, there's a puppy. What's wrong with it? Hello, puppy. <laughs> what a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. Oh? All right. Play with it? S set it free? Well, it's not my puppy. I don't... Well, let's play with it. How are we going to play with it, though? I will play with it so we can share a nice time together. Good choice. Now throw the ball at it. What ball? This ball. That ball. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is quite meta, isn't it? Okay. Puppy! I should have set it free. What did I do? It's all broken now. Mr. Voice, everything I touch breaks. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes life is just unfair. But I'm here for you. Really? Thank you. Well, sadly, the puppy will miss the party now. What party? The owner of this dog, George, is having a party. I think you have to go and tell him about the accident. Oh dear. What accident? Ah, uh, yes, the puppy. <laughs> yes. Let's go. It's just a bit farther ahead. All right. All right. Okay. I. <laughs> well, let's look. I'm sorry I broke you, puppy. I really am. Yeah. Maybe we can play later. You know, when I'm broken too. Shouldn't have to wait too long for that. Yeah. Yeah, he's now turned into some sort of bee. <laughs> can I pick up the ball or something? <gasps> Red ball puppy killer. Hmm, yeah, okay. Let's just leave that alone. And the party hat? 
I'll take the party hat as a symbol of our friendship. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, I've got that. I guess I'll just store that away in my pocket. Looks like dogs weren't allowed to be here anyway, but still. It says no dogs allowed. Oh, really? Well, that's all right. I dealt with that one. Ah, oh, and this is why. Can, <laughs> can I not walk around this? Oh, come on. Oh no, I step on doggy do. Oh, jeez. Oh, what, are you going to look at it now? Oh, sweet. I can see my foot. Don't look at it from that side. You just got to walk through it again. And you vomit. Let's see what came out. <laughs> I see a lot of glitter and... Oh, really? Is that rice pudding? <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. Please, let's keep moving. Yeah, I'm with Mr. Voice. Damn, Miss Fortune. Okay. So, uh, what calamities am I going to cause trying to get to George's place, do you think? Uh, let's read the sign. That sign doesn't work. Do you see all the crap lying around? That's a good observation, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm, okay. Can I do anything about so, it? So, Miss Fortune, at the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And the party, right? Ah, yes. That too. Why do I feel like I can't swim? And you're just trying to get me to kill myself. You know, once at this lake, <laughs> I got my head stuck in a plastic bag. I remember falling asleep and waking up in the hospital. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I almost died. And that's where we're going to leave that story. Oh, goodness me. I bet she's got a bunch like them, too. <laughs> of course. Uh, what's happening? I think you're in big trouble, Miss Fortune. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Where are these birds taking me? How big is it? I have no idea. But you have to do something about it. Fast. All right. Kick them in the balls. <laughs> Let's throw the glitter. Why not? It worked with everything else, right? Okay. My glitter is shiny. So if I throw glitter at the bird, they will only see shiny. I don't and know if that's going to work. they will get confused and leave me alone. That sounds like a solid plan, Miss Fortune. All right. Here I go. Glitter attack! Where did I land? In the lake? Oh. Brace for impact. Oh, I'm con I'm controlling this. This is taking a long time. <laughs> yes, it is. We didn't even go that high up. Yeah, I don't understand. Well, time seems to slow down when we are in danger. Hmm. Am I in danger? <laughs> I think so. Oh. Hey, look, a bird. Hello, bird. Given the bird. I get it. Okay. Oh, that was a rude bird. It certainly was. What the hell is this game? <laughs> Perfect! Oh, why didn't I break my legs and die? Mm, you seem very good at falling. Thank you. I've had a lot of practice, I guess. So, Mr. Boyce, is the party on the same way to the eternal happiness? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that's convenient. Mm. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About the puppy? Yes. I mean, if you want to. Uh, you know what? I know there's no right and wrong, just consequences and stuff, but I'm, I'm going to try and do the right thing in this playthrough. Yes, of course. That's the least I can do for the sweet puppy. That is very brave of you, Miss Fortune. Oh? Hello! Oh no. Are we there yet? Oh no. Just a little bit farther away. Ah, okay. Is it gonna run aground? <laughs> oh. Oh, a fish! <laughs> what should we do about it? Uh, but release it. I don't think we need a fish, do we? I would like to return it. 
It smells fishy. Right. Yeah. Bye bye, fishy, fishy. That's for the best, right? Probably. Probably. <laughs> I'm trying to do good. Okay. Right. There's those birds flocking in the distance. They're here to do uh, another attack run. And here we are, the house of George. I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself. You'll do fine. You're brave telling the truth about the puppy. <laughs> Stop it. I'm doing it for the puppy, you know. <laughs> uh, oh. Had to break into a run there just to get up. Okay, uh, so knock on the door. Uh, oh, well, let's... Can I reach the bell? Let's see if you can reach the bell. Nobody's answering. No. I'll invite myself in. Time to check out the party. Uh, is George okay? Like, the dog was abandoned. The fish is dead. Hmm. I saw a man once floating in the lake. Just like this fish. Oh, yeah? That wasn't the man, was it? Ah, oh, what a nice picture. I wish I had a picture like this with my mommy and daddy. Sure, sure. Hello? What is it, Miss Fortune? Nothing. I think I'm seeing dead people. <laughs> As you do. Are you sure this is the right house? Where is the party? Hello? Hmm. Maybe it's not so much a party. Oh, fuck's sake. There we go. Excuse me. Are you George? <laughs> Are you the owner of a puppy? Because I bring really bad news. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hanged. Hung himself? Like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? No, Miss Fortune. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. <gasps> he, he can't be dead. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, Miss Fortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. Yes. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I like the puppy. Bye. <laughs> There's something kind of cute about how naive she is, I suppose. Shadam! Happiness to George the Piñata! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh dear me. Oh, yep, okay. Okay, I'm here now. Right. Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes. Yes, yes let's do that. Goodness gracious me. I don't know. Maybe, maybe things will look up in the woods. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll find Benjamin. Oh, I love the woods. With the trees and the birds and the animals. <laughs> Dangerous animals, Miss Fortune. You might run into a fox. A fox? Like Benjamin? Maybe. Yes, but all foxes are evil. So keep your eyes open. Oh, uh, all right. Hmm, okay, if you say so. Seems like they're arch enemies, doesn't it? I'm keeping my eyes open. Oh, what's this? Huh, what's this? A doll? Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw, apparently. Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. <laughs> Alright. And is that the number one cross-stitched in? Looks like it. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. <laughs> right. Am I gonna find another one? Uh oh. Stay back, Miss Fortune. <gasps> what is it? <laughs> A wild, dangerous fox. Wait, I recognize that black tail. And it's the black magic. Human. It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. No. Nah. I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> Hello, is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh no, don't go! Oh dear. 
Don't uh, go. <sighs> what a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. <laughs> There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> Right, uh, to get to this magical cave, can we go around this rather than step through it? I guess not, shit. <sighs> it looks like Benjamin likes to paint. Oh That's pretty cool. I like that in a box. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. We need to keep going. Oh, uh, okay. It looks like he didn't quite finish the circle. And that's probably a... Oh, that's probably a good thing. Can I finish it for him? Oh, well... Bollocks. Shit. This can't be good, right? <laughs> what was that just off screen? Yeah, let's let's just leave. Goodness me. Oh no. Police tape, falling rocks. Oh god. All right. Yeah. I don't see a problem with this. Magical cave? It doesn't look that magical. Just wait until you go inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. Oh, I have a question. What does this sign mean? Nothing good. Oh, I don't know. Sparkle? Ah, cool. So, whenever you're ready. Enter the cave, stay in the forest. You know what? Yeah, like, maybe stay in the forest? I'm just Okay, I'm gonna stay in the forest. You'll stay in the forest. Yeah. But then you won't find the eternal happiness. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, right. I'm probably not going to find anything else staying in the forest, but I, I just don't want to go in there and die. So, <laughs> I'm sure you can understand. Um, I, I don't suppose we can maybe rub this out or something. We can't get rid of it. No. Can we do anything? I don't know. Sparkles? What about glitter and sparkles? Nothing. Okay, sure. I think I'm just gonna have to go into the cave, right? Well, okay. Let's enter the cave. Oh, I can't wait to see the magic inside. <laughs> How can I? This cave is huge! Echo! <laughs> well, let's explore the cave. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. There was no echo. It was me. You're a real comedian, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Voice is definitely trying to get me killed. Okay, so can't interact with the branch or the police tape. What about these sticks? No. <laughs> What? Did I miss something? Is that a fucking hamster? I'm not sure. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I wasn't actually expecting the game to be quite so humorous. What's this? A hamster party? <laughs> a magical <laughs> hamster party. I know you love parties. Do I? <laughs> Can we go inside? I don't know. Let's go find out. Oh god, how am I going to ruin this? Right. <laughs> Oh. Ugh, hamster fight! Are you going to do something about it? I I'm gonna- yes, I'm gonna try. Because it's the right thing to do. I'm gonna get stabbed for it, probably, but... Don't fight, you adorable things. You have to kiss and make up. Oh. <laughs> there you go. I oh, please, sweetie, don't go! You dropped something! <laughs> what? Okay, what is that? <laughs> Fucking Molly or something. Oh, are those mean? <laughs> Maybe I should try one so I can keep my breath fresh. I'm a little lady, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, I'm feeling really nice. <laughs> Feels good, right? 
<laughs> Let the rainbow in. This is mad. Oh god. You have to go and ruin it again, don't you? Uh, bad trip. <laughs> okay. Well, that wasn't a meant to refreshment at all. <laughs> Are you alright, Miss Fortune? I'm okay. Okay, I, I'm just kind of curious as to what happened with the hamsters that ran over here to the left. Can I find them? Can I see them? I haven't found any corpses or anything, you know? Can I? Oh, shh! Oh, no. It looks like the entry is blocked. Yeah, I can see that. Now what? Hmm, there must be another way out. Let's look for it. Okay. Yeah, okay. She's perfectly fine with this. Let's just assume it. They did kiss and make up, and that was it. That was the end of knife crime in the hamster community. Um, yeah. Excuse me, who a little lady get inside? No, I'm not very important, you say? Okay. Can you believe this guy, Mr. Voice? We have to find another way out now. This is mad. I mean, this is really mad. Can I, can I use this? These tiny cutie cars are killing me with their cuteness. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Got a couple over here. Hang on. Look at them. With their tiny cocktails and their tiny clothing. This is too cute for me. Yeah, cute. I don't know if that's the word I'd use, but... God damn. Is there going to be something stranger than that that I see in this game? Because, I mean, that, that's got to be the pinnacle, right? Oh, what the fuck? Check that lady out. I think she's in trouble. Oh, no. I think I recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes. Looks like she was robbed. Oh, I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes, you're right. Looks like you helped the criminal escape. Oh, damn it. Does that mean I'm a criminal, too? Of course it does. Oh, really? Please don't tell me. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. There are no good choices in this game, right? I mean, it's either I let the criminal escape or the other hamster gets stabbed. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hi there. Excuse me, do you need assistance? Doesn't look no? like it. Okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, we need to find a way out now. The eternal happiness is still out there. Okay, I'll look around. Okay, right. Uh, so what does this button do, I wonder? I wonder what this button <laughs> does. <laughs> Another bouncer! And convenient. Good job, Miss Fortune. You found the way out. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And up we go. Um... Is there any benefit to staying in the sewer, just like staying in the forest beforehand? Uh, probably not, right? Climb the ladder. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but uh, let's just keep moving. Where are we now? Looks like the edge of a sewer. Goodness gracious me. And uh, what does that say? No translation this time, but uh, stop, I understand that bit. Squirrel speed. <laughs> ah, this looks just like a movie I saw on TV. What the These fuck? are the bad guys, I'm telling you. I think you're right. We need to clear the way before we can proceed. But how? You see that fire alarm over there? Yeah. We need to activate it. Yeah, but how? With a slingshot. Oh. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that <laughs> slingshot. Okay. Okay, great. Ah, oh, look. I use these acorns as ammunition. That's really clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> I know. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. Um, have we got like a, a cursor or something? If we do, I'm not seeing it. Let's just press space and see what happens. Oh, right. Ah, oh, I get you. Okay, up a little higher. 
Oh! Not bad! Fucking wound face. <laughs> oh dear. We did it! Well done, Miss Fortune. Yay! <laughs> Alright. We've got to. Okay, we've got to take a look at all this stuff, surely. Squirrelspin? Hmm. Well, they were pretty speedy on that slingshot. The world is mine. I can't have a look at it, unfortunately, but I can have a look at this lab. This looks like the science project Daddy has in the basement. <laughs> why I don't am I not know surprised? Why, but Mommy was really angry about it. Hmm. Yeah. That might explain the cigarettes and the booze as well, actually. Look at all this money! That's a lot of cash. Yeah. Is this the eternal happiness? <laughs> Could be. Oh no. What makes you think that? Mommy said that money is the only thing that makes her happy. Well, your mommy is wrong. Oh, really? Okay. Hmm. Okay. So we're just going to leave it here, right? Okay. Uh, can we go to the right at all? No, alright. Well, looks like we're getting out of the sewer. Yeah, climb the ladder. Wow. I, I thought the, the strip club for hamsters was going to be it, you know? Hey, you. On the other side of the screen. What? Listen, I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will misfortune really die? Probably. If so, how will she die? And when mm. will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune, you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry, it's not far from here. Great. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, we've had an interesting start to our journey, our adventure. Um, there's been quite a lot of death. I've caused some death. Uh, there's been sex, drugs, violence amongst the rodent community. There's been some black magic and... A lot of stuff that I wasn't really expecting to see in this game, but uh, I think this is where I'm going to end part one. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you back in part two, where we cause some more calamities. See you then. Oh, well, there you go. There's the first reference straight away. I guess I could give that to my mommy. <laughs> okay, it's a deal. Right. Have you got Wonderful. pills too? I felt like warm water came near my bottom. <laughs> I peed in the lake. <laughs> it was really warm. That'll be why then. Right. I did it. You did, yeah. Just don't look at it the wrong way, otherwise it's gonna collapse in on itself. Again? Again? When will Daddy learn I like them alive? <laughs> oh, it's an easy mistake to make. Hit it, I'm good! Oh no, 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 no. He's okay! Damn it. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Look, uh, there's a puppy. What's wrong with it? Hello. <laughs> okay. Can, <laughs> can I not walk around this? Oh, come on. I bet she's got a bunch like them, too. <laughs> hmm. Maybe it's not so much a party. Oh, fuck's sake. It looks like he didn't quite finish the circle. And that's probably a... Oh, that's probably a good thing. Can I finish it for him? This can't be good, right? No. What was that? What? Did I miss something? Is that a fucking hamster? I'm not sure. What's this? A hamster <laughs> puppet? A magical... Squirrel speed? Just like a movie I saw on TV. What the These fuck? These are the bad guys 